Welcome everybody to MMP Radio, the online podcast hosted by yours truly, Mixmaster B, right here on MixmasterB.com. You can follow us on Twitter, Mixmaster B, as well as MMP Radio. And tonight I got a special guest. Her name is Gia Moore, and you may or may have not know her story, but we're going to tell you her story tonight as we're going to talk to her about how she is uh, not only a model, an adult model, but also an entrepreneur of sorts in the world of different scents and fragrances. So she's going to talk about her perfumes and her different scents that she's developed over the years called G Cologne and G Perfume, as well as what life was like immigrating from South America. So she's originally from Colombia. She came here, traveled all over the world, and she's going to talk about her different fragrances. So we're going to talk to her a little bit tonight. With that said, we're going to welcome her in right now. Let's talk to her now. It's Gia Moore on the phone lines. Thank you for having me. Thank you for calling in and talking to us. And we're going to talk about a lot of different things you got going on tonight. But uh, we kind of want to start from the beginning. As I mentioned, you are an adult model, but you're originally from South America, from Colombia? Yes, sir. I'm from Colombia, from Bogota. That's the capital. And I came two years ago with the American Dream. And the American Dream just evolved into uh, starting modeling first, right? Yes, that's what I did first. Well, first of all, I came like any other person and work in any different jobs. And then I have the opportunity to work with an agency as a model. And then I start here in Miami a little. Then I did New York. And then I did it in Spain, Madrid. I have a chance to work over there because uh, my brother lives there. So I went to visit him and then I have the chance to work in there. Now, how was it uh, transitioning from South America to the United States? Kind of take us through what some of the differences between the two. It was like the first day that I arrived, like when I came to the Miami airport, and I saw like, what a pretty airport. I knew that I belong here. I was like, wow, what an amazing country. And even that I always miss my family and my roots, because that could make me who I am. I always was in love since the beginning, so my only mission was to learn English and try to become part of the country, like any other citizen. Now, where do you currently reside in the United States? You live in Miami now? Right now, I live in Miami, yes, and we're doing this interview from here. I was going to say, you tweeted out a photo from, I guess, they yeah. from out and the beautiful skyline and everything. It's a lot better than, I say, it's a lot better than the view that I'm looking at outside our studios. Oh, I know. I was laughing. Yes, it's very beautiful right now. And I thought that it was going to be perfect to share with our followers and the beautiful view of Miami right now. That's wow. close. To, that's from my apartment. Now, what's one thing that you love about the United States and one thing that you love about Colombia that, that are different from each other? What I love about the United States is that it's a powerful country that people like to work and give you the chance to every immigrant to do better. If you really want to work here, you can make it. You know, it doesn't matter that you can pull with no money. You start working right away, and little by little, if you are if you are consistency, you have consistency, you are going to do better. What I love about Colombia is. Um, the family aspect. Every Sunday we go to my grandmother's house and she will cook and all the families together every Sunday. So that's something beautiful. That's something that I admire from my country. Now, you've traveled the world. You've been to Spain. You've been to Italy. And while you were there, you kind of got this, I guess, this interest in different fragrances, right? Yes, correct. I always love fragrances, and I have, like, a big collection of all of them, the best ones, you know, until I make my own one, and I was like, no, I'm not using nothing else from now on. That's mine, and I love it because it was exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, so I always was into fragrances, go to Paris and find out about perfumeries, doing the same in London and the same in Italy. So I wanted to create something fun, sexy, but that it makes you irresistible, that it makes you, like, look at that person and turn around and look at them, you know, like, to make you sexy, like, want you. So I created with pheromones, and so far, so good. It's working for me, and I wanted to share with everybody. I want everybody to have that sex and that is fighting their love life. 
Now, you've labeled it as sexuality in a bottle, and you said it's uh, these aromas, these different aromas from France and Italy, they serve as, as aphrodisiacs to trigger an association with different emotions and sexual stimulations. Um, what are, if you could just kind of break it down, what are some of the differences between, say, uh, the, the fragrances and scents of France and that of Italy and elsewhere? Well, in France, it's where everything is starts, correct? Correct. Like the best perfumeries, is, they are in Paris. So the difference that I could perceive from the one in London and Italy, like the one in, in London is like more like lavender, like bath, like if you understand, like a spray, you know, like what we have here, body splashes. Mm-hmm. It will be like more like that. And in Italy, the perfume is like, um, and the perfume and fragrances in general is like very fashionista, not, ex- not necessarily like last too much forever. It's like a fun scent, but it doesn't last too much. Like the French people, they make it last, you know, like they stay for a long time in your body. So and that's that- what I couldn't perceive. And and then that led you to create G for ladies and G for men, right? Your own fragrances. Now, are they based on different um, countries, or is it kind of like your own twist on something? Or no, 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 no. I was my own twist. Like I told you, like I always was in love, so I knew exactly what I wanted. You know, like I know that what it works for me, and what you like. I always have a sense to know exactly what it works for everybody. It, it doesn't matter that everybody has like a different humor body, you know, but I try to make it the ones that are the principal, the ones that are the most popular and that they are like classy and elegant fragrances. And then I decide to add the pheromones for sexual attraction. And it's been, it's done so well that even the O Awards have nominated you for Outstanding Product Line, right? Yes, it is. Like, it was like, we came to the market in last year in August, almost close for my birthday, end of July. And then we go to the ABN, and then suddenly they say that we have a nomination. So from one moment to other, it became, like, popular, you know, and it was, like, so gratifying, you know, like, such a satisfaction to know that you did something with love for the games of love because you wanted to share with the world and with couples to reconnect, to be sexy, to be fun. And then they give us a nomination. So I was, like, super happy, super thankful with God and with life for this, for this award. Well, but not the award in general for the nomination, but to be six months in the market is a big thing. You know, like to be competing with companies like Astro Glide or Jello Loops that are companies that have been in the market for years, and they are like number one. So it was very, very spectacular. Now, you also, beyond... The different fragrances you also sell candles and chocolates on your um, website correct yes I wanted to do aromatherapy candles and uh, I thought that it is perfect that's how I live my life so what I wanted to share it was a part of me like for example right now in the house in my apartment we have like candles all over like it's part of my day like you know like to relax like I went to church earlier came home, watch TV, cook something, and then light up with candles the whole house. So it's part like a routine in my case. And if you're going to have like some, the person that you love next to you, why not to light up a candle? It brings good energy. The smell is amazing. And I think that it gives you that sexy energy that you need. So my candle that I sell is in red you know, and with the same fragrances of the perfume, with the same aromatherapy liquid oil. Okay, now what kind of uh, research and studying and I guess kind of learning education that you had to go through to perform all these Well, I have to study about, it was like, I wanted to create like the fragrances. I, I have it clear in the beginning what I wanted, what to put for men and for women. The, a study came with the use of pheromones because the pheromones can be very, very strong. So if you put the if you don't put the right amount, it could be like too aggressive, too strong. That is, instead of be pleasant, you don't want to go there. So what I work with the labs and specialized people is to put the right amount on it, and we use uh, synthetic pheromones, no animal pheromones. 
That's very awesome. And you also have the website, gmoregifts.com. And you will also be attending the Exotica Convention in Chicago? Yes, that's true. We will be in Exotica June 12, 13, 14. So it's not this weekend, the next one. We're going to have our own booth for gmoregifts.com. So if you want to stop by, I can find an outer wrap and you can smell the fragrances. And test for yourself. Maybe after that, walk around and get the porn star turn all over you. So, to all my fans, go and try the fragrance. Wear some of your G cologne. Go to the booth, use the tester, and then walk around the porn stars and see what effect it got into the girl. I know. If I was there at Exotic in Chicago, I would have them take a hose and just squirt me all over with this G that's cologne. What, that's what I do that's what i do with my perfume and it works you know like before i go out or if i really really want to impress someone like it's all the time i wanted to smell good and be sexy and get turned on by people and turn people on it really works like my g perfume is not because it's my perfume but i'm totally infatuated with a fragrance i love it you know it gives me the best results ever and, and, and forget guys, about the can, award. Yeah, and, forget about the award. I don't care about the award. I love the award, but I love the sex. You know, it really, really is good. <laughs> that's what it matters to me. Well, you know, uh, well, imagine if that can do it to other people too. If it works for me, okay, I'm a sexy person, I'm a sexual person. But if it, I, I can see the difference, imagine for other people. Like, it can be like that amulet of confidence that they need, you know? And they can have the best experience ever. And like I said, if, if putting on G cologne for men, you walk around Exotica, there's plenty of, you know, available sexy women that can just flock all over you. Yes, you can be flattering and, and feel sexy. I will, yes, I will want to take pictures of the, all the guys that come first to my booth, put some of the G cologne and then walk around and take pictures. Like, I have a photographer that is working in my booth, so I would tell him to take pictures of the woman's reactions when the guys pass by. That would be awesome, you know? <laughs> like, the interaction. It would be, like, a very cool portfolio to do. That would be fun. Now, also, we're going to go ahead, we're going to give away either a, a bottle of the G cologne or G perfume to whoever listener is going to answer a certain question. And you also have your own radio show your own podcast called gm war nights correct yes that's correct we started on friday you know like uh, alicia pleasure that is an adult porn star gave me the opportunity to have my own show she contact my pr tanya Tay, that is like my idol like my friend and, and my guy so they make the arrangements and we start the show and everything is being good. Like I, I'm new at this and, and I didn't have no preparation whatsoever, but it went very good. The people go back and give us a good feed up. So I'm super excited for next show to see how little by little I'm going to improve with on the radio. Now, now this contest we're going to do to give away one of your products is if they were listening Friday, you have a special question you want them to answer. Tell them what the question is. We were talking about sex positions, and the question will be, which one was my favorite? So what is Gia Moore's favorite sexual position? Now, if you were listening yeah. to Gia Moore Lights on Triple X Porn Star Radio, you would have heard the answer to that. So the first person that goes ahead and correctly goes ahead and we'll do it where they can, they can tweet me the uh, answer. If they tweet me the answer, we'll mm -hmm. go ahead and we will get their information and they can choose whether they want the cologne or the perfume and we'll get them a free sample of it, right? Exactly. They can get their G perfume or G cologne. It will be my pleasure to share with your audience. And but, just to answer or tweet, which one is Gia Moore's favorite position? She said on XX Porn Radio Station last Friday on Gia Moore Night Show. So just say it, which one is, it's an easy one. If, if everyone that knows me or follow me, that one is an easy one. <laughs> is it a common favorite. position? Is it something that's common or is it something kind of different? I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> no clues here, no clues. I can say it. I say like, I just 
I'm the one performing it. I'm the one doing it. <laughs> I cannot okay. say no more. <laughs> okay, so that's a li- that's a little bit of a clue. That'll help them out. So what we'll do is you go ahead, and if they go ahead and they tweet me at Mixmaster B, or uh, tweet us at MMB Radio, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get a winner, and we'll get we'll hook them up yeah. with some really great fragrances and some scents, and then and, you know have them have their little sexual prowl on the loose. Yes, like give your phone a spice, and if they want to come and visit me on June 12, 13, 14 in Exotica. Tell your fans, please, that there's no problem to stop by in my booth. And I would love to share with them, like, maybe, like, some chocolates or to give away something for your... If they say that they were listening to your station and to your show, Mix Buster at M- MNB Radio Station. Very that would awesome. be my pleasure to do as well. Very awesome. And like I said, we, you could have, like, a little bed set up there. You could just have little chocolates and scents and candles and... They might not yes. want to leave. They might stay at your booth the whole show. Yeah, they might leave me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find Gia's gifts and our different uh, colognes and perfumes and other gifts at www.giamoregifts.com. You can also find her on Twitter at twitter.com uh, at giamore69. You can also find her products at Giamore Perfume. Uh, we thank you again for talking to us a little bit. Anything you want the fans to know before you head out of here? Nothing, Miss Bastard. Thank you so much for having me in your Sunday show. I hope I meet you when I'm in the other side of the country. And again, to all your fans and followers, if they want to stop by in Chicago, it will be my pleasure to share moments and to show them the product of GMORGifts.com. Well, there you have it, GMOR. Check out our products, and uh, we'll be talking to you real soon. Thank you so much for having me. Have a blessing Sunday. Thank you.